Welcome to 30 Day Reviews. I am Justin and today I'm going to show you a product that was sent to me by Sweet Comb Chicago and that is their Killer Bee Shave Soap. Sweet Comb Chicago was nice enough to send me this in a two ounce container. Now this does come in a four ounce as well. So if you like the two ounce or you want to just pick up the four ounce right away, you can go ahead and do that as well. It's sent in a tin container like a lot of the shave soaps are, and it's just got a standard kind of friction lid on it. Now, it is painted black, so it may end up having a couple of scratches over time. And for some reason, all three of the products that I got, I don't know if it was dropped in the mail or anything, but the box that I got this in was in perfect shape. But anyways, it definitely has a pretty decent dent in it, but that didn't ruin the functionality of the product itself at all. Now the shave soap just kind of smells like a really nice scented soap to me. It's nice and relaxing. It's definitely not overpowering. However, I did go ahead and ask them what the scent profile was, and they said that it was modeled after a traditional African soap. I can't tell you for sure how spot on they are because honestly, I've never had a traditional African shave soap before. Now the interesting part of this is that there are actually chunks in here that are a completely different consistency than the main product. They were a lot more prominent before I started using it for the month. Where right now, they are pretty much just dips. I see that there's a few dark spots underneath there where there's probably more of those little chunks as well. Now I notice that those little chunks do kind of dissipate quicker than the rest of the shave soap. However, I never noticed any chunks in my shave brush. So it wasn't like I was, you know, brushing it on and I'd have a chunk of it there. So it definitely kind of dissolves evenly just a little bit faster than the rest of the soap. Now I went ahead and used this just like I did with any other shave soap and I just used a shave brush. Unfortunately, this time that you are watching right now was actually with a new brush and a new razor that I'm not quite used to yet. So I definitely nicked myself, but it wasn't to any fault of the soap itself. The ingredients in this shave soap include coconut oil, palm oil, safflower, vegetable glycerin, purified water, honey, shea butter, cam wood, palm kernel oil, coca pod ash, palm bunch ash, aloe vera, lime juice, sodium hydroxide, sorbitol, sorbitol oleate, propylene glycol, as well as a scent oil. I found out that the little balls in there are actually made up of the coca pods and the potash mixed in with a couple of the other ingredients from the ingredients list as well. My experience using the Killer Bee soap is that the two ounce container just really isn't big enough if you don't have a nice lather bowl because there's just not enough room to really get a good lather going in there where i think the four ounce one would probably be a lot better because you have more room to work it around now i did try to lather it up in my hand as well as just lathering it up a little bit in the tin and then lathering it up on my face some more and that seemed to work pretty good from the two ounce tin so even though that I had a little problem lathering it, I'm pretty sure that if I had a good lather bowl that the two ounce would have worked just fine for me. As far as actually shaving with it, it has a nice slick shave and it didn't bother me one bit. It let the blade go very nicely on the skin and I didn't have any thought of using any type of shave oil with it because it just frankly doesn't need it. Now, as usual, I use this product for around 30 days, and I have to say, I liked my shaves when I was using it. It gives a nice slick shave, it does what it's supposed to, and it smells great. So now it comes down to, is it worth the money in your pocket? Well, I would have to say, yes, it absolutely is. At just $8 for the two ounce, which I do suggest that you bump that up to the four ounce, for just about $14 on their website, you can't really beat it. It's a great price and a really decent product. 
Now, unfortunately, I don't have a link for you at this time. However, if I get one, I will definitely be putting it down below for you. Otherwise, just head on over to Sweet Comb Chicago's website and you'll be able to pick it up there. If you like this review, please do me a favor and let your friends know about this channel. And of course, hit that thumbs up down there. And if you want to know more about Sweet Comb Chicago's products, please make sure that you check out the playlist to the right. And below that is a video that you will probably enjoy as well. Until next time, you have a good one.